I recently became a member of the Canadian Union of Public Employees, Local 3904, Unit 3. The union represents contract academics at Ryerson University, where I'm also a graduate student. Not long after I joined, on October 16, 2017, over 12,000 full-time and part-time faculty from Ontario's 24 public colleges went on strike. Ryerson is marginally affected due to the fact that George Brown College has a campus here. According to the Ontario Public Service Employees Union, or OPSU, quote, treatment of contract faculty at the colleges has been a sticking point in negotiations. Some 70% of all college factory work on short-term, usually four-month contracts, with substandard wages and no job security. The end of quote. OPSU is calling for increased wages and a faculty of at least 50% full-timers. The Toronto Star reports that, quote, the College Employer Council has said that the union's demands will cost $250 million and lead to the loss of thousands of contract positions, end quote. The strike, now in its fourth week, affects over half a million students in Ontario. In addition to the one on Ryerson's campus, there are picket lines for members of OPSU Local 556 at other George Brown College locations, including the St. James campus, the Waterfront campus, and the Casaloma campus. In a show of solidarity, I went to the Local 556 picket lines, and here is a bit of what I saw and what I heard. So can you tell us why you're here? Okay, we are here basically just for fairness for our contract faculty. I'm a full-time faculty myself, but I want to make sure that our part-time or contract faculty are equally paid for the hours that they work. Uh, the dispute, as my colleague stated, is uh, it's, all about, it's all about jobs. Like right now in the province, we're, it's, again, it's an arguable number. We're roughly 80% part-time faculty and 20% full-time. Just uh, 10 years ago, that was basically, I think it was roughly 60-40, somewhere in there. And 10 years ago, we had uh, student, in, in the last 10 years, student enrollment has increased 21%. Uh, full-time faculty has increased 12%. Part-time faculty has increased 36%. Administration positions have, op have gone up 56%. And there is no, or there is no part-time administrators. It's all full-time positions. So it's very frustrating, and uh, they're saying there, there's no money available. Uh, the colleges uh, made 168 million dollars profit last year. Um, the, out of the 24 colleges, 23 of them were in the black, and there's only one that was in the red, and that was the Sioux, and they're very close to breaking even. So the money is there, and we just want, we just want to basically, we, we care about our students. And it's very hard. We have people here that have to apply for their job every eight weeks. So it's very hard for uh, on the faculty. It's hard on the students. Uh, from one semester to the next, they have different professors. And it's, uh, there's no continuity. And that's what we're trying to, to have. We're, we're asking for 50-50. In my opinion, that is not. We're not asking for the money. So I'm a, I'm a member of uh, QP3904 over at Ryerson. Um, what would you like to see in terms of support from Ryerson faculty that uh, you know are not affected by this particular strike? Um, we'd like them to walk with us. Yeah, that would, that be, would be nice. yeah, that would be nice to have them walk with us and show us their support. Uh, absolutely, we, any support we have would be yeah. much appreciated. Any press again, thank you for this, and um, we're going to have a rally on Thursday. The students, I believe, is tomorrow. Uh, faculty will be rallying on Thursday at Queen's Park also and we just we just want them to get back to the table that's it and you know like they, they don't even seem to want to hear our side and, and it seems to be monetary and this is still supposed to be a public system uh, affordable and it's just not getting affordable anymore for the students tuition is just going through the roof we're, uh, we're in, in Canada we're the lowest paid uh, colleges as far as uh, money that's being put into the system and that's that's all we're asking just uh, fairness there is power there is power in a band of working folks when they stand hand in hand that's a power that's a power that must rule in every land one industrial union Real.
Power that must rule in every land.